Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint Advanced Tips and Tricks. And my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for this session is showing the survey results. We have already learnt about the survey results then how we can represent the data in the form of the symbols and how we can represent that in the form of lighting. Now we do have the other options available. In this session we will discuss that how do we show the survey results with the help of a pie chart. Alright, so these are the two ways by which I have tried to represent the data here. We have two charts first of all the yes and no chart and then we have a chart which says yes, no or maybe there are three possibilities in the survey. So let's try to represent the data first in the form of a pie chart. I'll click on insert here. I'll try to insert a new slide first of all. In the new slide, select the pattern. Survey result. Alright, now I want to insert a pie chart. Click on chart here. Click on the pie option, this one. You have a lot of options available. Now let's say we want to select this option. Okay, we have got the chart here. Now you can modify the figures here. Once you select the chart, that this is the kind of chart you want to insert in your uh, presentation in the slide, then automatically it's going to open up the Excel file that would show you the data. So now you can replace the text, you can write here the survey results. And now it depends like if you want to show only two options that yes and no then uh, we can write here yes results and no result that's it these two and you can modify the figures like for the yes suppose we want to say 95 for yes and 5 for no. So that's it. Now the other two options we don't want. The third quarter and the fourth. What do you have written? So you can select this and you can reduce the size. You can modify the blue window. Now we have only got two options. The yes result for the 95% and the no result 5%. This is of no use. If you want you can delete that as well that's it. Now you can close the Excel file. We have got these two options. Now you can change the colors by selecting the list here. In the chart tools we have got three options design, layout and format. In the design once you click it give you the different formats, the different kind of design, the colors and the combination here. Let's say we have selected this. Now in the layout you have got a lot of options now. Do you want to show the chart title or the legends or the data labels? For the data labels we want to let's say we have selected best fit. So it's going to label your chart here. Now any other option you want to select in the center inside the edges outside the end this ways so you can represent the data labels in the format you want to currently I'm selecting here as best fit that's it chart title above chart which is already there then legends show legend on the left you can change them as well. You can change the degrees for the rotation also. 3D rotation that 15% uh, percent or perspective X and Y axis. So that's it in the layout. There are certain options associated with the pie chart that you can change. 
so that's it this is also one of the way by which you can represent the survey results with the help of the pie chart this is the way by which we have selected the yes and no option if you want you can represent the yes options also like for example we have 10 questions and we want to show them with the help of a pie chart so then what we can do we can give a list of the 10 questions and then in front of that we can represent the yes options only like 8% 9% those users said yes so in this way you can distribute the pie chart in the 10 questions also like let's say I'll show you we can select the edit data here we are showing yes and no result like suppose we want to say question 1 here then I'll write here question 2 Q3, Q4 and then Q5 we have say we have five questions here for the first question we want to say 8 for the second one 9 these are the yes results then we want to say 6 how many of the users are satisfied or they are happy so this is how you can represent that now close this these are the survey results and these are the questions Q1, Q2 data labels and the legends so this is one of the way by which you can represent this with the help of a pie chart I'll show you I'll play the animation once again that how we have tried to represent this survey result pie chart so that's it this is the way we have created we have prepared the design now you can apply the animations here you can click on the animation then again let's say for this we can say fly in or let's say float in now for this object animation that you want to apply first of all wipe wheel also you can select here after selecting it that's it let's play that in the above slide I have applied two animations here first is that appeared and after that it has I have given the emphasis animation here where it was popping up a pulse was given to it so if you want you can add the multiple animations here like select the object under click on the animation pane the first animation we have applied the wheel one now click on the add animation one more uh, animation we want to apply here and we can give it as pulse so what is gonna happen is select it start after the previous if I'm going to play this survey results then as a wheel it appear and it will pop up so we do have options of multiple like animations here by which you can add mm, different multiple animations together one is that it appear as a wheel or and after that we can give the emphasis you have already studied about all the animation stuff that what does that mean the entrance emphasis and exit animation you can refer back to the videos for the more knowledge about the animation stuff that how we can apply the entrance emphasis and exit animations and how we can apply the multiple animations together so that was one of the trick by which we have uh, showed the survey result with the form of a pie chart there are multiple there are many more options like if 
even if you want to show in the form of the pie chart change the series chart type and there are multiple pie chart options we have selected this one you can select a different one also like say this one you want to select so this is also one of the option by which you can represent it so that was it for this session we have tried to show the survey result with the help of a pie chart in the next session we'll discuss about that how do we show the survey result with the help of a bar chart so stay tuned and learn more about the survey result tips and tricks thanks everyone thank you for watching azubedia world videos